I would like to welcome everyone who joined us so far on this webinar dedicated to Comfort Click, uh, KNX, Z Wave range of gateways. Uh, today's presenter will be Flavio Sanchez from Comfort Click company, uh, from directly from Ljubljana, Slovenia, Europe, Earth, planet. Um, today, Flavio will be talking about Comfort Click on uh, a bit uh, higher level than we had last time from David. Uh, it will be more about business cases, about applications of Comfort Click, uh, possibility of integration, and all other things which may be of your interest in the first instance, as well as the information for your end customers. Um, this is uh, the list of webinars we had so far in the KNX and Comfort Click webinars series provided by Digital Home Systems and Partners. Today, as you can see, we'll have Comfort Click, KNX, Z Wave Gateways business cases to start in a couple of minutes. Next week, we'll be talking about nice gate systems. Um, nice being our uh, Italian company providing uh, the excellent gate systems uh, all over the world. And we'll also be touching base on the Fibaro Home Center, Home Center 3. Um, there will be a, a short update on what it is and when it comes to Australia. So it will be next week at 2 p.m. And in two weeks' time, we'll be talking uh, about HVAC systems, a company called Cool Automation. will be providing for our installers a special webinar to introduce to all those possibilities to do with the cool automation bridges. And that will be in two weeks time at 3 p.m. So stay tuned and there's more webinar webinars coming. Those who don't know much uh, about uh, digital home systems yet, yet, we are the main distributor of smart home products based on Z-Wave and KNX in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, we offer not only products, uh, of Z-Wave and KNX, but we also offer professional technical support, training programs, and install a referral program. So there's a few good reasons to uh, join our partners group. And today we'll be coming back to the current uh, webinar. We'll be talking about Comfort Click, KNX and Z-Wave gateways, excellent range of gateways, which you can deploy on any small, medium, and, and huge projects. Uh, so to start, we are again uh, Comfort Click. We were really well introduced already by our colleague. But we are uh, Comfort Click. We are based in Slovenia, and we work with building automation software and servers. So we provide software and servers for any kind of projects, big, small. Uh, doesn't matter, complex, simple, we, our software can be uh, deployed to any kind of systems. So uh, my name is uh, Flavio Sanchez, and as I said before, uh, let's go through the agenda so we know what we're going to cover today. So we start with a, a simple introduction about our company, then we go directly to what the end user will see once you're going to be implement our solution. So what is the project, how the project looks like in the end user side. Then we go to the POS configurator, where we see where the system integrator spent most of his time doing the configuration and preparing the, the logic and adding the devices. Then we go to uh, the devices that I just mentioned, all the list of devices we support, the range of systems that we can integrate, then some tasks and logic, we go to our products that are, of course, offered by digital home systems. Uh, we go to project examples where you can see uh, the different kinds of uh, projects we offer uh, that were done with our system. And we end up uh, with some questions that could pop up from your side. So starting with who we are, as again, we offer software and hardware for, for smart buildings. 
uh, we are we were established in 2008 so we have more than uh, now 12 years of experience in this market so it's a long time working with uh, automation and with software for automation so we have a lot of experience in this uh, segment we are based again in Ljubljana, Slovenia in Europe and we offer besides software and hardware we offer also consulting some planning and technical support we are members of the KNX Association and the Z-Wave Alliance. Uh, just as a reference for you guys, we have uh, we are already we have our system running in more than ten thousand buildings all over the world. So this is uh, it's uh, a lot, and all this was done with uh, help of our colleagues, our distributors, uh, including again digital home system we have over now it's over 30 premium installers and we are exporting for now even more than 72 uh, countries around the world so we are well established uh, so jumping already uh, to what so what we offer what is comfort click bos so what we offer is this uh, bos is the building operation system that we will control, integrate, and help you to do the visualization of all your systems. So all the smart uh, devices, smart systems that you can have in your project, everything will be done and can be uh, collected and checked in only one single app. So right now, you would need to have a different app for KNX or a different app for Z-Wave or a different app for each manufacturer. But using our system, you don't have to do all that. You can have everything under the same uh, roof and uh, everything controlled by a single app that can be used in your mobile device or your computer, as you're going to see in the next uh, slides. So uh, this is what we do, but how we do that? Uh, as you can see here, this is just an uh, example. We have any more systems of the systems we support. And of course, it's included KNX, uh, Z-Wave, Modbus, Bacnet. These are the main ones, uh, Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Sonos. So the list goes on and on. And we provide the visualization and the integration of all the systems through these three softwares that are part of the BOS, uh, the BOS system. So uh, we start with BOS server. That's the one that is running in the background. So the BOS server can be running in one of our own servers or so our own hardware, or it can be running on your own Windows uh, hardware, for example. And what it does, it runs in the background, providing all the logic, all the scheduling, the visualization. So it's, it's the, the brain running in the background to provide this visualization. And then we jump up to POS configurator. That's where the system integrators like you would spend most of the time on. So on BOS configurator is where you're going to do the visualization. You're going to prepare the logic. You're going to include the devices. We're going to cover it a little bit uh, further on. But this is where you're going to spend uh, most of your time preparing the project for your clients. And talking about clients, we go to BOS clients. That's where you actually control uh, the project that you have made. So you have the control, uh, the, the project done, and you have here the visualization. So here, here is where you're gonna access the device, turn on, turn off, and see uh, what was done before in these two uh, systems. So, and this BOS client, of course, can be installed on iOS, Android, Windows, or you can access through any browser that you want. So without uh, further ado, let's jump in directly to what we do. So directly to the, visualization that is shown for to the end user so one thing is having me talking about it other thing is actually showing you this so here we have an example of how the end user would uh, check the project so this is an uh, example of how how a project to, could look to the client so what he would see and as you see in this uh, panel we have a lot of devices that were included in this view and these devices can be from any brand, any system. So this could be uh, dimming KNX lights. This could be another Z-Wave light. So we have uh, Z-Wave sockets or, or we have uh, Modbus. We have shades. We have air conditioning. So we have Philips Hue lights. So you see, 
you can have very a lot of brands and they don't need to be from the same system. So for your end user, they don't even need to know uh, which system you are using. Doesn't matter to him, for him it will all look uh, the same and everything will work. So this is great. Uh, and we have, as I mentioned, some temperature systems, some uh, sensors, so uh, a lot of different kind of devices. And uh, an important thing to note is that everything you see here is customizable. So the picture in the background, the icons, the color, so this blue color, the size, everything you see here is customizable. So each project can look unique and each project can look uh, like if you have a different pictures, you can change it in the background and every project will look uh, again unique. So this is important thing to stress out. Uh, and for example, if you have some devices that have additional uh, additional control, for example, the air conditioning, you can just press and hold and you'll be uh, showing this pop-up with a lot of more uh, options to control your device. So this makes really simple and easy for the end user to control his devices without having to, to go deeper in the system. He can see everything at a glance and even set some scenes and everything. So this is one a way to control a, a device with more options. And what else we have here? We have these buttons, as you can see, that are shortcuts uh, for other panels. So if I click here in the living room, this is a way to go there, or I can just press here and see in the left all the rooms I have in this, in this building. So I could do this or just shortcut, and here we are. And here you see that we have already another uh, different visualization. So here we have a picture of the, the living room and we have the buttons positioning already over the devices. So this is another option uh, what, that we provide with this free positioning of the buttons. You can have it done uh, with any kind of pictures and then you can just drag and drop uh, the buttons wherever you want. So this is interesting to show. And we have here examples of uh, scenes. So we have our lights off, we have a reading, we have a party time and so on. And each of these scenes, as I'm sure you are familiar, would control the device you have configured before uh, to, to be set. But what you can, uh, the end, end user can also do is just press and hold and he has access to all the lights that are connected to this specific scene. So let's say he wants to have this light was not so good. He wants to have it brighter and this light on. And then he press OK. And next time he press the scene, all this, the configuration that he has done is now shown. So this is to make really simple for the end user to control uh, the devices without having to contact the system integrator, for example, for everything. So he can do a lot by himself. Uh, other thing interesting to show is, for example, if you set up the, the lights manually the way you want, you can, again, just press and hold in the scene and click on learn, and it will automatically learn how it was. And now next time you press it, it will change for that. So this is uh, really a, at a glance what we offer with scenes and what we offer for the, the end user to make it uh, really simple for them to do the configuration. Um, other than that, we have other visualizations. So I'll jump up uh, for kitchen. And here you can see that we have these two uh, frames. And these frames, you have the buttons already positioned in these uh, lock uh, places. So they are not freely positioning, they are inside these frames. And this is uh, to offer you as a system integrator options of design for the building. So if you want to have a simple uh, visualization without the buttons uh, everywhere, you can just use the frames and the buttons will be positioning here inside them. But the buttons and everything, the control is the same as shown before. You just turn on and off and this could be KNX lights, could be Z-Wave, could be shades, everything is controlled uh, in, in a click and you have the scenes again here. Uh, and every, the good thing about our visualization is that it works with any kind of device. And what I mean by that, let's pretend you have a cell phone here and you see that the design automatically changes 
for this uh, more vertical screen. And if you would be in your cell phone, you would just drag and drop, drag uh, to left and drag to right, and you would see the other panels. And this is important for the system integrator side because you don't need to make different visualizations for each device. You can make the visualization only once and it will look uh, the same in any device you may have. Being Android or a tablet or a iPhone, doesn't matter, it will look the same. So this saves a lot of time for the system integrators. Um, I will just jump now over the panels to give you other examples of visualization. So here we have an alarm system. Uh, we have alarm panel shown here, so you can activate your alarm from your mobile device. And here we have these zones and sensors that would change if, for example, if you have a movement in the kitchen or if you have a door open, it would change here automatically. So at a glance, you can have the secret view of your project. And what is also interesting is that this, uh, these uh, functions can be also a trigger for other logics. For example, you want if uh, the kitchen door is open, that the light would turn on. So this is everything can be done with your system. Uh, and I will show some examples later. But here you have a view of it. Um, on this panel, you see the picture in the background already changed. This is a view of the of the heating system. So you have at a glance. Again, all the buttons you may have, these are different columns. So just to give you an overview of how this can look differently. Uh, the same with shades, you can control the tilt, you can control here or pressing. So everything is really intuitive and really uh, easy to do. And again, all you see here is completely customizable. Jump on to cameras. Uh, I put some examples here, sadly. I'm not in the C side by uh, right now, but uh, for this, uh, just as example, you can have a really a overview of your house that you have IP cameras. So when uh, really in a panel, you can have this sense of security looking okay. Everything looks fine. I didn't forgot. I didn't uh, left the garage door open. So everything can be checked out in a glance. And here we have a more industrial view, I would say. So this is a more SCADA overview. When you have your power consumption, you can have everything that you can me measure with the device you have in the project can be shown here. So this is good, uh, sorry, this is good for uh, this overview. And you, we offer also these uh, simple graphs where the user can check it out what was uh, what was the consumption in over years, months, days. So this is really simple and easy to show the client how is the consumption going. So this is one view and we have another interesting example here. This is for uh, electrical cars, for example. So let's say you have uh, your Tesla is charging and you can set up here the price for the, the energy, how much it would cost, and then you can have the calculation done automatically of how much you're spending with your charging your car. So this is just another example of the many things we can have with our visualization. Um, going back here, we have another example of uh, irrigation. And this is interesting to touch uh, about two things. You can have your own weather station or you can have the weather data came from the location of the project through internet. And then you can make some logic and some scheduling that will be based if it was raining in that day or not. So this is another way that the user can save water, save energy, just with some simple logic done with our system. Uh, and here, every project is, is different. So here is an example of a swimming pool that you can have, again, with the lights and the heating. So this can be, everything can be unique for your project. And the last uh, panel we have is the weather station. So you can have your own, or as I mentioned, based on your location. So I'm here in Ljubljana. It's showing the weather for the upcoming days. It's not looking that good, but that's what can we do. So this is another panel. Um, this, let me just jump 
back to the floor panel. So here we have, and just to show you how how uh, scalable this system is, I will just jump to another uh, project project that we have uh, the hotel demo. So here at the hotel, you see it's uh, the manager of a hotel. Let's pretend can be can have a really simple overview of how the rooms are going, how the rooms are doing, and he can have different floors. So first floor, second floor, and everything can be seen at a glance. So he knows if it's required room service or if it's occupied or if it's ready or if it's cleaning, he can see everything and he can even go jump inside the hotel room. So here he can see uh, what is being used, what lights are turned on or off, and this can also be a view that's offered to the client. So let's pretend the client has, uh, this hotel has a wall panel, and this would be the, the view shown in this wall panel. So the client can control the lights, they uh, can control the ceiling or so on, the air conditioning, he can play around with the things he has. And interesting for hotels is that you can change the language here really easily. I uh, will choose a language that I'm familiar with. So I change to Portuguese. And here we have, uh, our, as you can see, everything changed to uh, Portuguese. So if you have guests that don't speak English, you just set up the panel with the Portuguese language, for example, and everything will change. Uh, really easy, really simple, and they, don't, they can understand what's going on. So this is just to show you this interesting feature that we have. And let's uh, jump back to our house. That's where we're gonna spend most of our time. So this is it uh, for our, this is it for our, for our uh, visualization. So going back to our slides, uh, this was about the visualization. And now you must be asking yourself, Okay, this looks nice, but how is how hard is to make all this? And I will jump now. We're gonna move on to the configurator, where I will show you how it uh, really simple overview how it's done, uh, and you see how it's based on drag and drop, and no need for any uh, programming or anything like that. So now I will just um, move here. So this is the first screen of our BOS configurator. I left it like this because you can see I have here a list of two devices, uh, two projects, and I could have this list as a system integrator could go on and on, and you could remotely connect to your projects. So you don't need to drive or travel to the project site. You can do it remotely. And with that, you don't need to, you can connect, and this is done through our cloud. So it's really simple to use and you don't need to do any, any traveling. Like I said, you save some, some costs with that. And so jumping to our house demo, here we go. This is how the BOS configuration uh, looks like. Again, uh, I will not go really deep in how the configuration is done because David, my colleague, did that in the previous presentation. And we have many tutorials uh, on our YouTube channel. So I recommend you guys to go there and take a look. We have more than uh, 50 videos showing step by step how to do the configuration. But I will touch the main uh, nodes we have here. So these are the three main nodes are the devices where you have, of course, listed all the devices you have in your project. We have tasks. That's where you do the logic and the programming for this uh, project. And here we have the team where you see the visualization. So it's really simple, really easy to use. Devices, logic, visualization. So this is a, a tree structure that we have. Now, starting with devices. I have already some for this example, I have some devices here, but let's pretend I want to add devices. And here you will see the list of devices we support right now. So it goes from the Canex that you are used to, goes to BACnet, uh, Z-Wave that you are familiar, but many more like Modbus, uh, Sonos, and uh, Kodi, IP cameras. So this list is always growing. 
and we try to keep up uh, with development of new systems and we have planned for the future now uh, ZigBee and MQTTT. So these uh, would be the new devices that we have and you would just click and add uh, and then the device would be listed here. Uh, one thing that I would like to, to, to highlight is CanX. Most of you work with CanX. Uh, and we have this uh, wizard that helps you to do the importation of CanX devices. So with this, you can import your uh, devices. You can import your, sorry, your ETS project. And it will, once you're done, I will not go through it. David went through this part before, but we have also tutorials videos for it. But once you import your ETS project, it is listed here as a tree structure as it was before. So the same way you did the project is how it will look like, uh, look here. So this is really is really simple. You have the list of devices to be used. And jumping now to our visualization, as I'm sure you may remind, this is the visualization we were uh, playing before. I will not, uh, this is already done, so I will just show you from the scratch how easy it is to create something similar to that. So I will just add a panel. So here, panel, I click in add, and we have a new panel. I'll change it here for free positioning, and I uh, will select uh, background. So this uh, can be one, these are all the backgrounds, the pictures we offer uh, as examples, but you can upload your own picture. So this could be your own, uh, your own project picture in the background, but I will use this one just as an uh, example. So we see here uh, the layout in the background. And we, we can just, I'll show you the, remember the KNX devices that we included before? You can really easily just drag and drop and that's it. The devices is included just by drag and drop and you can position it, you can change the size. Let's put the bathroom light here and you have it the bathroom here and you have the bed, so left would be here and you have a uh, uh, right, so, and this doesn't need to be only with KNX, can be with any devices you have. So uh, let's pretend we have a Z-Wave light and we would like to have it outside. So that's it, can be a Z-Wave light also shown here. And what is great, I will jump to POS client now again. This is where we were before and you see I already have this new panel here and everything I did is already showing here. So you saw that I didn't have to do any kind of uploading or to the project or anything. I just did in the configuration and it was automatically shown here. And this is a simple way to do the visualization really quick, really simple, and you don't waste any time. And this is already functional. So this would be already working in the project. So this is how it does, it's done. Uh, just uh, showing you also how it's possible to do some uh, customization here. So if we click, for example, in this button, and I want to make it really big over the, the table, and I want to change it, uh, the style of it, so I'll change it here for manual, and let's say I don't like the color in the background, I would like to have it green, and uh, I don't like to have this color. I would like to have it blue, right blue. So I, this is not looking good, but it's just example of how it could be done. And you see, I did ha didn't have to upload anything. It's automatically shown here. So I already changed the colors and that I changed it here. So this is just to show you how customizable everything is. And again, you can change the icon you have from one of our examples or you can change it using your own uh, files. There is no problem here. So this makes the project really stand up. The project is really unique. So this is one way to do the visualization. Another way I will create another panel. So just adding another panel and I have here, I will leave it as automatic and I, I will change, for example, I will include uh, frames here. So let's put two frames. 
and this frame I will call it uh, light and this frame I will call it shades and then we have these two frames we go to KNX and again I see that I'm just dragging and dropping and everything is easily done and easily is simply uh, done with just a drag and drop and the buttons are taking the position that is showing the frame and everything is like this and the same could be done with shades so let's put some shades here that's it so we have the shades here and this again is done automatically in the POS client so this saves a lot of time this is uh, another view and okay this view is more structured so as shown before this is how you do this kind of uh, uh, preset positioning of the the devices, these devices in the BOS client. Uh, so we cover the devices, we cover the visualization. Now we need to talk about tasks. Uh, what are tasks? Uh, I will do like before, you just click and add, and here you're gonna see all the preset tasks that we have. So it's really easy to use because we have all this done for you. So you don't need to start from scratch for calculation, graphs, uh, message and, and uh, scheduling, scenes, um, program tasks, that's when you can use if this, then that, and else. So it's really easy to use without any program language need. But for this presentation, I will just make an example of a scene. So I will call it uh, lights, uh, light on, and uh, we have it. We have it um, done like this. Um, and as before, you can just, uh, let's go back to our KNX lights once we were playing with that. Before, you can just, again, drag and drop it here, all the lights, and it will automatically be included in the tasks that you are playing on. And you can, again, include also a Z-Wave uh, light just for for fun and let's select all the devices and set the value to true so once this scene would be running all the lights will be on and another interesting things that we provide is for example let's say you have this uh, all knx lights and you want to turn it on with a z-wave switcher so uh, you can just here you see that we have a trigger you can just add this is the same tree structure that we are used before. And let's see here, I have this IOTech switch and I will just select it and then I'll put it when the value is true. So when I turn this switch on, all this scene will run. So this is a simple way to do an integration between Z-Wave and KNX. And it's done really simple with a really a few clicks, you already have this integration done. Uh, and this is one way to have the, the scenes running. Another way, let's see, we want to have it in your panel. So we'll just include a button menu here. And I will again drag and drop it here, just add, and we already have this scene. So if you go to the client, you have this scene here, and when you press, everything is on. So this is a simple way to do a scene. So the main, main idea is to show you these three steps and getting back to the configuration. Again, I will not go deep. You can do a lot of things in the BOS configurator. I will not go deeper because we have many, many tutorial videos uh, covering this. But this is just to give you an overview of how many devices we can control, how simple is to make the visualization, and how simple is to do the integration between this, these devices that you can have included here, so this is this is an overview of BOS configurator, and uh, uh, and we can go further with our presentation. So uh, I covered the, the devices, but okay, what are the devices? Again, we support. I, I really will want to stress this out: KNX, Z-Wave, Modbus, Bacnet, Amazon, Google, IP cameras this list is always growing so this means that you have a more or less a future proof uh, solution you don't need to worry about new systems being developed because we do our best to support all of them and i will just jump now to our website so here is our website 
and it's interesting uh, here is that we have all the listed devices that I mentioned before. And if we ever grow this list, it's shown here. So you'll see that we have more devices here and they will always be shown here. Uh, but the interesting part about our web page is that it doesn't work just as a um, marketing tool, it works as a knowledge tool. So, for example, if you go inside KNX, you see that we have a short description of KNX and we have these two buttons here. And if you go to knowledge base, you will see that we have described here all the steps someone would need to control KNX with our system. So we have it written down and we have it as a really long and detailed manual and we have it also our tutorial videos. So as I mentioned, we have this uh, our YouTube channel that provides a lot of insights. So I strongly recommend you to check it out and these videos would all be shown here. So if you go to the, con to the knowledge base again, you see that everything that's listed here is like the tree structure we saw in BOS configurator. So if you have any doubts about something of how to do a configuration, you can just jump here and click, for example, in Z-Wave, and you most of the times you're gonna have a tutorial video and a step-by-step -step, uh, how to do the configuration. So the idea is that you can learn a lot by yourself. You don't need to reach us, you don't need to do, um, contact your distributors, you can learn by yourself and learn with uh, our systems. And we support many systems as mentioned before. Uh, and the other uh, icon that we had was this uh, examples library. So this is another interesting session we have where we offer preset examples for the clients to use. So let's say you want to do a configuration with KNX and uh, you have to you want to control Sonos, uh, control Sonos volume with a KNX uh, switch. So you don't need to, to do the configuration from scratch. You can just download it here. It would save on your computer. Then you upload to your BOS configurator and you can just tweak a little bit the devices, the configuration, and it will be easily uh, done and you can have this configuration done already through it from a preset so you don't need to start it from from zero and we have many uh, many tasks many devices so you see we have a movement the present simulator uh, this is another interesting human centric light so the light would change accordingly to the to the day to the hours of the day so all this is here and you can just download it for free and this is uploaded by us and by our users. So this is a community generated. So this is also always growing and always providing uh, things for you. So this is uh, another tool that we offer to make it really simple for the system integrators to do the, the project. So it saves a lot of time. And we have some GUIs, examples, and uh, some projects. So this is the home that we are playing around. This, if you want to download it and try it out, this is where you're gonna uh, see it. So this is uh, covering the both things. If we jump back to our presentation, we cover that. Uh, knowledge base already to show you and the examples library. And now let's jump into, okay, this is all the software and what is the hardware? So we offer many, you can, as mentioned before, you can run all this on your own uh, devices or your own computer machine, or you can have it running on one of our servers. And the list of servers you see here, it's, they are all offered by, by digital home systems. So you can have uh, contact them for that, but I will just go a little bit through each one of them so you have an idea of what they do and what they offer. So again, I will jump back to our website. Uh, here on the products, we have uh, starting with Jigsaw KNX. This is really interesting for system integrators that work with KNX because it has integrated KNX interface. So from start, you already save a little bit uh, in costs for your project because you don't need to purchase additional KNX gateway. It is already included in integrated with Jigsaw. 
Uh, all the servers come with our license included, so it's not that you need to buy the server and the license. The license, everything is as shown, the software is included on it. And it's, uh, it's a really good solution for, uh, let's say, small to medium-sized projects. So if you have apartments with a few devices or a small house with KNX, UA, so this is really for uh, small projects, but it's a really powerful solution. It's a really uh, interesting device, uh, in interesting server. Jumping back here, we have a uh, Colibri Z-Wave. Uh, ah, just, I forgot to tell you, uh, it's named at Jigsaw KNX, but it supports, of course, all the devices uh, we covered before. So it's not only for KNX, it supports all the systems mentioned before. Uh, okay, now jumping back to Colibri. Colibri is the same idea as Jigsaw, but for Z-Wave projects. So let's say you have a project that you know you're going to use Z-Wave, you would go with Colibri because it has an integrated Z-Wave interface. So you don't need to buy a Z-Wave uh, dongle or a Z-Wave gateway, you can only have uh, Colibri and it will connect to all your Z-Wave devices. Uh, Z -Wave, uh, Colibri supports all the systems we mentioned with the exception of KNX. So Colibri is not for a KNX project, it's for Z-Wave with all the other systems or, or only the other systems. So this is the idea here for this device and you can make really interesting uh, projects with it. Jumping back here to our overview, we have these two Grinder and Grinder Black. They both uh, run the same software as I showed you before, and they are based on, on uh, these devices are with more capable uh, hardware. So let's, let's say you need to have a office building with more, uh, more devices. So a larger project with really a lot of devices, you would go with one of these. Again, they run the same software. The difference is the processing power. So if you have a lot of IP cameras, for example, you would need a more powerful hardware. You would go with Grinder or Grinder Black. And uh, now our last one, Slash Camera, it's a more uh, powerful solution. So in the case you have, you have uh, projects with uh, hotels or you have uh, apartment buildings or anything like this, you would go with this uh, device because it's, again, it's the same software, it's really scalable, but you need to have a more uh, processing power. So this is uh, what you would uh, require. And once you, I have covered, you have all this, so you have the visualization done, you have the devices, you have your servers. What, what, once you put everything together, you come up to the projects. So I'll just cover simple three uh, projects that were done with our system just to give you an idea of how how customizable it is and how it can be used in different range of projects. This is a really smart, uh, interesting project done uh, in Finland with a smart dome. So this is a sports center and we have this uh, smart dome that needs to be controlled with pressure and heating and so on. And all this is done using Jigsaw. So Jigsaw is the device controlling all this project. And at a glance, the user can see all the important features he needs for this uh, structure. So he can see the pressure, he can see the temperature, he can see the alarms, he can see everything that he needs at a glance uh, in one visualization. So this is really interesting. And of course, as you know, with any automation, you end up uh, saving energy once you don't need to heat up the the bubble the so much as before you can control it uh, based on the weather outside so this is one example uh, uh, just to cover another example we have uh, this is a project done in india with colibri so it's a z-wave project and as you can see here it's already a really different uh, view so they chose to use their own icons and they chose a more uh, dark uh, background and they put their own brand here so every time the client is using he will see the brand uh, over here so this is a different approach just to show how customizable again our solution is you can use your own icons you can choose your own logos your own background and make the project really unique 
To finalize with the case studies, we have this uh, Euphoria. It's a five-star hotel with over uh, 287 rooms. So this is a really big project and it's controlled by Slashhammer. Uh, so here you see uh, administration view. So at a glance, the manager can see all the rooms and see what if they use, they need some uh, cleaning or if they need some, uh, if they're occupied or if they are free. So at a glance, he can have an overview of over 200 rooms. And again, he can make really unique visualization for their clients so their clients can see and control their devices from within the room. Uh, here it's another example from a different room or you, where you can see if the lights are on, off, if it's uh, required anything, any assistance. This is a picture of the room. And again, uh, a visualization for the manager. So this is to show you how scalable our solution is. It, you don't need to, do, to learn anything else as you would need for a house to make a hotel. So you just need to include more devices and prepare the visualization for more uh, more panels and that's it so just jumping back to our presentation we go oh i forgot to cover this so let's jump back to our devices uh, we have beside our servers we have these uh panels that can be used so if you have a project that need a visualization we also offer wall panels so this is, uh, these are Android devices. They are not servers, but they provide a simple way to have a visualization to your project. So you can have it with any color you want, the frame, and this would be great for your uh, project. So this is a 10 inch Android wall panel. Again, it's not a server, it's just a wall panel. The same thing with Dozer, it's a 22 inch wall panel that can be uh, white or black and it can be used as a, as a visualization tool and it's a bigger one. So usually it's used for big projects and, uh, and hotels. Uh, we also offer accessories. So Z-Wave, Dongo, Modbus, Bacnet and RS-232. And again, you can have our software running on your own uh, Windows machine. And talking about software, to finalize my presentation, I spoke too long, <laughs> too much. Uh, I really would invite you to test our software. So how you can test it for free, you just need to follow the steps shown here in this page and you have a 30 days free trial. So you can install it on your Windows PC, do the project as you wish with no limitations and you have 30 days to, to play around. After the 30 days, you're gonna need to contact, of course, our friends from Digital Home Systems, and they will provide you one of our servers or uh, one of uh, or the license to your own Windows PC. So we cover that. We cover the 30 days trial, and I spoke for too long. That was my presentation. Uh, I thank you all for giving me the time to introduce you to POS Comfort Click. And I guess I will just uh, wait. For and that was it. So thank you for your time. Uh, yes, uh, right now we have two options to do the remote access. So you can do port forwarding and we have a tutorial video in your, our YouTube channel showing you how to do it. So it's basically port forwarding and you would connect through it. Uh, but we're gonna release really soon our own uh, cloud gateway based uh, connection, remote connection. So through our uh, cloud, you will not need to do port forwarding. So this uh, remote access would be done without a need of port forwarding. So it's a re another layer of security that would be put uh, for our system. So this will be released in the upcoming, everything got a little bit delayed because of the pandemic, but in the upcoming uh, weeks or months, we're gonna have it release it and it would be another option to external or to remote access. Excellent. Thank you for the answer. And uh, I may add from my end, we've been uh, testing obviously Comfort Click uh, gateways for almost a year already. And I have to uh, admit that 
uh, remote access is uh, the fastest we uh, observed among all other smart home hubs so far. Really fast, uh, really fast. Yes, uh, we have example also. Uh, you see that I will always get back to our tutorial videos and to our uh, manuals because we made it exactly for this question. So these are uh, typical questions that we receive and our idea is to have our website as a source of knowledge. So uh, from our website, you see that we have, for example, door bird example already done. And on this example, you see that you can connect IP intercom with uh, addressing to different users. So depending on the basic drivers and HTTP commands. So I will not get in details about it, but yes, it's doable and you just need to include it as shown in one of our tutorials. Uh, you can do it, uh, I don't have in this example right now, but you can do it, for example, just open uh, the client again. Uh, so here, the client, you see that we have this alarm and you, you will not hear right now because it's not connected, it's just example, but this was a suggestion done by one of our users that he want to have a button that once press, once you press it, you have your own uh, speakers would make a sound of dogs uh, barking to to scare someone that would be coming on. Or for example, if you have some movement in the outside, this would be uh, activated. So this is an example. I sadly I cannot you cannot hear it right now because this is just the demo. Uh, but this is it's possible, and you can do on the configuration included. Uh, the sounds you want, and also to be speaking, for example, on your cell phone. It doesn't need to be a speaker, so you would receive it through your cell phone, we would speak. That's actually one of the things I have at home. We have a, a really silly uh, configuration done here. It's, for example, we have this uh, Fibaro Z-Wave button, and I leave it in the living room where my wife is working right now because we are both working from home. And once you press it, once means that you have a break for lunch. So my cell phone says it's time to make lunch or heating the food. So this is just a simple uh, configuration that was done with POS configurator with sound and Z-Wave devices, everything through comfort click. So yes, it's possible and it's uh, also some interesting things that can be done. Uh, well, let me let me answer this. Being uh, distributor, obviously, we are covering all the commercials in Australia and New Zealand. Um, so, that, uh, by all means, uh, you can check the pricing for all Comfort Click gateways and licenses and uh, wall panels on our B2B website. So, just jump uh, as you would normally do, a login uh, to digitalhomesystems.com.au, login, and under uh, KNX gateways, you will see, and uh, you will see all the comfort products. So with your pricing, with your trade pricing. Just to give an idea, we have um, uh, established a price of uh, $999, including GST for Colibri. And um, just under $2,000, there is uh, a price for Jigsaw, which is the fully KNX um, based controller. This is a retail price. I'm not uh, disclosing the, the, the trade price. Obviously, you have a nice margin on it uh, being installer. But I'm talking about the uh, listed price uh, recommended to show on your invoice to customer. Uh, as I mentioned before, the free license is valid for 30 days because the idea of the free license is to have you testing out our software. But once you acquire the license, it's a one-time one -time purchase without any monthly fee or anything. So it's one-time purchase. So once you purchase it from the digital, uh, digital home systems, you will have it uh, on your device for life. So there's no, no time period for that.
Yes, yes, all the, the updates are covered. So if you release new devices, you can uh, automatically uh, update your system right now and it would include it, uh, all the new systems. So we are constantly uh, releasing updates for bug fixing or new features. And this can also be updated uh, on the license if you have only the license or of course, if you have one of our uh, hardwares, this is also updated. Uh, you need to manually update it, but it's uh, it's free. So there's no uh, extra charge for that. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, one thing to, co to clarify, you mentioned 30 days uh, free license uh, for demo installations. Mm -hmm. um, I remember we got a, uh, just recently, about a month ago, a newsletter from Comfort Click, and we actually <laughs> shared it with our installers uh, that you actually extended it to 60 yeah. days. Yes. So uh, is it 60 or 30? No. <laughs> yes. Now, now that we are living this period of uh, outside time, regular time, uh, we did this uh, with the, this COVID-19 situation. We expanded to 60 days, but our systems uh, already automatically deactivated after 30 days. But if you need extra 30 days, so this total of 60 days, just write us and we will activate it for additional 30 days. So you are correct. This is still valid for, I guess this will stay for the whole year. So it's 30 days. And if you need additional 30 days, just email us on info or any one or any of our contacts, and we'll be more than happy to activate it for additional 30 days, making a total of 60 days. That is plenty of time for everyone to try and to test it out our solution before commitment committing with a uh, purchase. Yes, actually the license, it's only one. So BOS Pro license is the license you would have activated on your system. So this is, this is the Pro, so this is the one you purchase and the free one is free. Uh, but this is what you purchase and it comes with uh, two users. And you can, this, the second one that you mentioned, the users, is this, uh, you can include more users. Uh, but what are users? Uh, users are different logins. So, for example, you can have this visualization we have here, log it in uh, as many devices you want, as far as you are using the same uh, login. But uh, let's pretend you are in the hotel demo that we said, and you don't want uh, the wall panel or the people who is in the room number one having access to room number two. So you would make this uh, only one user. So this would be a different login. So this login would have access to devices only in this room. He will not see anything else. So this is an example of what users are. Uh, another example is if you have a house with uh, kids, and you don't want your kids to play around with the alarm panel. So once they are logging with their credentials, so their user uh, login, they will not even see the alarm panel. So these are different uh, use for users. So if you need more than the included users, you can uh, contact a digital home system and they will provide you the prices for additional users. So this is how how we divide licensing and users. Uh, that's how it's based. I hope that was uh, clear. We do have uh, licensing uh, for all the participants. Uh, we do have uh, licensing, these two, BOS Pro and additional users already available on B2B. So um, it's all available for uh, purchases. Okay, uh, I will just jump to our page so you can see it uh, even clear. So here, uh, if you go to about, I will just list our distributors and you're going to see we have a really interesting company shown here right in the or right corner. So these are our friends from uh, Australia. And um, one of the big guys who use us, it's a Jung. So Jung has... Most of you who works with CanX are familiar with. They use uh, they use our own system uh, for their visualization. So they don't. They have Jung has 
Jung uh, has their own, but for Jung Perica, they chose to use our visualization and our hardware. So they are a KNX manufacturer using our solution for all their services and all their projects done in Portugal, Spain, and Latin America. So it's a huge market from a huge uh, German company using our solution. So this is something to show. And they actually, let me just go through through the visualization here and you can see that um, they have a completely different uh, view so here so they go with more Jung is more a dark uh, black and white uh, brand so they go with a darker team but they are using our solution for all their projects so this is just uh, to show how well established we are and as a reference one of the big big guys using our system we are also in communication now this was knx we are also have a really uh, good communication with uh, z-wave manufacturers fibaro and uh, cubino that i'm sure you most of you who work with z-wave are familiar the cubino is also based here in slovenia so we are just half hour away from them and we have a really uh, good communication and we we exchange a lot of information and we, they help us a lot with their their devices so these are two two three brands that use us already okay so uh well, our recommendation is uh, basically any ip camera that provide the rts uh, address or on with configuration so uh, I will just open again the configuration. I will not go uh, deeper uh, to the, in this, but for example, we have here IP cameras. And let's say you have a camera. My recommendation is the simplest way to have IP camera connect is to have one that runs, that has the own VIV standard. So you would just include it in the network and press configure and it will be automatically done. But if you have other uh, other systems, you just need the the IP address and the and the Snapchat address, and you just include it here, and it would be included in your visualization. So this one that I have uh, open example. So this is the ones we are seeing. You see, I have the IP and I have the address. This is you can get from the manufacturer how it should be written down. And this is all you need. So IP cameras and uh, the address from the manufacturer. We have no limitation of uh, which manufacturer we support. They only need to provide uh, this address. And to make it really, really simple, I would recommend the ones that support OnVIV configuration. So other than that, it's there is no brand limitation, actually. And uh, as I said, this is really uh, what we offer. We have idea of having our system really simple to use and to, off, and to use our website as a source of knowledge, as you said, to make it simple for any user to do from a simple house, a villa, uh, to a big project, so a big uh, hotel. So you have it, everything listed there as manual, tutorial videos, knowledge base. So the idea is actually that we want to have the as many as uh, people trying it as possible and with as many as, uh, as information available to all the users. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. And thank you for excellent presentation, Flavio. Okay, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for the, the offer. Thank you for your time. And uh, have a nice day, you too.